Voices of the Void has this really cool feature where you can submit custom content to mess around with in-game, like videos to play on the TV, oh, and he's got a beautiful voice, audio to play on the radios, even 3D printing models and doing custom pictures and stickers and stuff like that. So we thought it would be fun to have my community submit a lot of goofy stuff for me to explore in-game. But before I could do that, I had to make like $1,000 to buy the 3D printer, so I devised a plan, and that was to make Kerfer Omega, which is an upgraded version of my little robot here named Kerfer, and it's able to go and get hash code from the satellites, which would normally take me all day to do. Oh, carpet! Oh. Which means that I am free to spend all my time getting signals fast, 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 and selling them instantly, making a bunch of money. I got a bunch of materials together, including scrap pieces from the original Kerfer. I also got a radioactive core that I stored in my refrigerator with my 150-pound meatball roommate. This would be the power source for Kerfer Omega. And then with all the pieces in place, I used a combination of science and energy produced from Wug Root Beer. Thank you to Wug Root Beer for sponsoring this video. Are you thirsty? Wug Root Beer has got your back. The only root beer guaranteed to help with your scientific discoveries. Have yourself a Wug moment. And now, with all the pieces in place, it was time to create no. Kerfer Omega. A genuine marvel of technological advancement. No longer will I have to walk all the way out and repair satellites myself. They can repair the satellites for me. Why? Okay. <laughs> So we saved up the thousand dollars pretty quick, and then we also got attacked by aliens. Whoa. Get down, Carpus! Shut off! Get to the basement! I knew this day would come! Get in the bunker! Yeah, they basically left something in our yard that said to watch out for, like, big glowing balls, and I had no idea what that meant until I saw a big glowing ball. Oh my god, quick! Come quick, please, hurry! Go an inch! Oh my god! So that's about where we're sitting. We can't go outside because there's freaky things, but we don't need to go outside because we've got all the entertainment we need in here. We got the 3D printer, we got movies to watch, we got audio to listen to on the radio. Lots of community members submitted lots of really cool stuff. So go ahead and make yourself some popcorn and enjoy the Voices of the Void multimedia night. Let's get a 3D print going. People have been making some crazy shit. There's something I'm so excited to show you. Uh. The Smoke Master. And guys, you are gonna freaking love this. This is uh, a little bit of tech that I'm excited to show off here. Now look, you might be wondering what this little contraption is and why there's an X taped on the floor. Well guys, you can actually... <laughs> Automated smoking system. <sighs> so yeah, Meatball's gonna love this. <clears throat> Meatball is gonna love this shit. Was that Calvin from the forest? <laughs> actually just made Kelvin. It's gonna take a minute to print, but right now it's just a pair of feet. Yo, Meatball! You doing good out there, buddy? How's it hanging? Still got your anti-bird helmet on? It's good. Oh, shit, it was full of rainwater. Dump that out. Uh, God, this place is a dump. We probably should swap to a different room. Listen, the whole reason this looks so bad is because the invisible aliens keep screwing my shit up. Kerfer runs through Can here and- you hold the cigarette for me? Oh, Meatball. I don't need to hold the cigarette for you anymore because look, you're gonna love this, buddy. Come here. This shit's gonna blow your mind, Meatball. We've got a new automated system for this type of stuff. No longer will we have to hold our own cigarettes like cavemen. We've got the cigarette holder, this, what, the ASS, what does it stand for? Automatic cigarette smoker. Hit that shit, meatball. Hit it like your life depends on it. Big smoke. <sighs> which, which way is the front? Can't hear you really over this music, meatball. Oh, Kelvin's coming along great. <laughs> oh, he's done. Kelvin's finished. Here, I'll set I you down. To ride you wanna ride Kerfus? Kerfus? Here, okay. I'll be right back, Meatball. I got an idea. You're gonna love this. Alright, Meaty Man. Get ready to check this shit out. Let's bag you up. Take object. Yes! <laughs> Patrol. Mm, FM, FM, you having fun, Meatball? I can barely hear you in that in muffled in that garbage bag like that. I can't breathe. Yep, yeah, you know why? That's the oxygen leaving the bag as you breathe it all and expel carbon dioxide. That's normal. 
on the radio? What the hell? My radio busted? <laughs> Yo, Meatball, you hearing this shit? Something's weird with the radio. <laughs> oh, that's tragic, Meatball. I'm sure the bug will give up. There's so much of you. All right, Meatball. Let's get some TV on. These are uh, things submitted by chat. Um, Let's do shuffle. Wait. Before we start, I'm gonna make us some popcorn. Through the power of technology, we are able to 3D print popcorn for our consumption. Grab this popcorn, grab this popcorn. This'll be Meatball's popcorn. He won't know it's plastic. Oh, Kerfer's coming for the movie night. Hey, Kerfer, come have a seat. Get comfortable. Here, let's turn the lights off. Oh, wait, I have to cook my own popcorn. Is this fucking plastic? Meatball, well, don't be disrespectful about my cooking. I made that fresh for you. What do you mean? All right, you ready to watch our first flick? Let's see what we've got. We've got this one. San Diego 200. Zoo, San Diego Zoo. This is kind of freaky. Man, this one's giving me the freaks. What the hell is that? Was that? I don't think that's what a zoo looks like. Buddy, you don't know shit. Look, that you're telling me that's not a zoo? <laughs> you know, that looks surprisingly like the base. <laughs> I'm just being paranoid. Fuck you, Baltimore! <laughs> if you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Whoa. Hill's car! Bad deal! Cars that that break down. That's See, snow, Meatball. Just snow. Bill, that's right, we'll fuck your wife. Because it's Big Bill Meatball, Hill. Meatball, should we get fucked? Ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Big Bill Hill. Home of challenge pissing. That's right, don't delay. Don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hill. Yeah, yeah me too, this show's good. This one's pretty cool. Up, asshole. This event ends the minute after you write us a check. Guaranteed! I miss my brother by the he joined us. He's over there, he can see it. Hey, let's pause for a minute. We'll start we'll start back on this one. I'm gonna go start a 3D print. You might you you have any requests, Meatball? Anything you want printed? This one has a lot of funny words. Yeah, well there's not many words, it's just pictures of fish and music. Hey, yo, Kelvin, my man, how's the cigarette? Oh, thumbs up. Amen, brother. Let's see, we've got, what are you guys feeling? You guys going, Gorp? Where should we put this? Wait, idea. Oh, sorry, Kel. That's cute. Hello, could I get a train ticket? Just kidding. Gor Glorp on the radio? Get off this line, Glorp! The fuck? He's landing. Go outside? Oh my god, shut it! Oh my god, shut it! Oh my god, we gotta go! Meatball, bad news! Lights are out. I gotta get Carpenter to go repair shit. You missed the sun turning off. Yeah, I know. Well, I saw it from down there. It, it was, uh... Uh, pretty... freaky. We're gonna get Carpenter to go repair the, uh... The lights for us. Guys, he thinks... He hasn't seen outside in a little while. He thinks the sun went out, but it's just the power. That's a power issue. Okay, we're gonna get the power back on soon, Meatball, but there's something really scary outside. I, uh... Can you hug me while you want? Well, Meatball, I... You know, that would be romantic and all, but I don't want to get your sauce all over me. It, that would just... I'd have to go take a shower and... You know... Let's just enjoy the pop. 
This music's kind of romantic feeling. <laughs> Meatball, maybe I will put my arm around you. You know, I'm having a change of heart. Here, let's watch uh, Binky Fish. How about it? Puts my arm around Meatball. There. That's all you're getting, though. We'll leave it at that. Okay. I'll sit over here. It's from the Administration of Space Safety. This must be important that they're interrupting Binky Fish. Have you... Doing so could cause harm. Meatball, what is this show talking about? This is kind of weird. Turn the flow. No, I mean, I want to see what they're talking about. There's apparently a dangerous meatball out there. Then tips to the. Oh, yeah, the. Yeep, blah, 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 hotline. That's very odd, Meatball. That The meatball that they had on that TV looked kind of like you. Isn't that weird? Turn it off. It's off, it's off. Meatball, check it out, buddy. We got we got a a little cigarette for you to smoke on. I want to give court for. Yeah, well, maybe you play your cards right. You might get a little kiss. So far, though, you have you kind of been blowing it. Yes. Oh my God! Hit that shit, Meatball. Smoke that shit, dude. This looks so sick, Meatball. I. I wanted to have a little talk with you. <laughs> that show, that show that came on the radio, where they kind of said that there was a missing meatball, that thing looked a lot like you, which is a bit concerning to me, seeing as how I just feel like you're not telling me something having to do with the Intergalactic Space Committee looking for a big meatball. It was left April Fool's joke. <laughs> Oh, oh, a little early April Fool's joke. They must have aired it early. Yeah, it's a few days until April 1st, but I get it. Man, I know you wouldn't lie to me, Meatball. I'm sorry for even bringing that up. Has this ever happened to you? Oh boy, I do sure love sitting on my ATV. I sure hope nothing bad- <laughs> Well, the yes, old that's happened ATV. to me! Patent pending insurance, that shouldn't be a problem anymore. With our insurance, if anything were to happen with your precious ATV- Wait, ATV insurance? Whether that be crashing to objects such as rocks, trees, or even a river- Meatball, do we need this? Never do that. Can we afford this? Or alien abductions, alien tampering, any such thing, we will cover it. If you're still not convinced, look at some of our great reviews. <laughs> if you call right now, you can get not just one week, but two weeks free on your plan. When you're Meatball, give me the deployed, phone. you can never be too careful. Meatball, I gotta borrow the phone. Can I borrow your cell phone? I crash my ATV all the time. This shit is right up my alley. Maybe you do, but I don't crash. Yeah, because you don't leave the goddamn house. Oh, spinning Meatball? Yo, Meatball, you want another brother? Looks like we can buy a spinning, rotating 3D Meatball, and it only costs two handfuls of uh, pennies, maybe, or small cookies. They do it. That's good. Yeah, Kelvin hasn't said much to me so far, but he seems to be in pleasant spirits. Man, I don't know if I can uh, afford another meatball, though. There, look at Kerfer, Kelvin. Yeah, uh, Kelvin, apparently they're dating. Kerfer and Meatball. What the hell? Anomaly! Anomaly! You see this? Hello, Earthling. I am an alien from oh, another shit. planet. At the present moment, I have changed into this mobile phone. While you are looking at my face, I am rubbing my testicles and making love to your fingers. Don't say you're not enjoying it, as I can see you smiling. Ah! Feel my passion. This is a prank call passion. from an alien! Ah. Oh, and he's got a beautiful voice. <laughs> oh, let's get some picture frames ordered. There's lots of pictures that, that people have made. Oh my god, this is going to be exciting. Oh, look, also, by the way, somebody submitted... Um, certificate of adoption, proudly presented to Charborg. You are now the father of Meatball and Meatball, and the grandfather of Baby Meatball. This is non-negotiable. Resistance is futile. Yep, that came in the mail. 
pretty exciting because, uh, you know, I completely forgot that I adopted Meatball. Such a good opportunity to have a beautiful baby son. Alright, we have, uh, lots of picture frames here. Certificate number one cutie pie. Little glorp meow meow. <laughs> Cute. This one's haunting. This one's they're luring glorp out to uh, get snapped and killed by a mouse trap. So that's a little sad. Hope no, but hope glorp doesn't see it from over there. There's so many cute ones, dude. I, the people were submitting so many cute arts. Ref Airy doing a freaking ollie. We gotta get enough picture frames to put all these on. Different. Look, that's you guys. Oh, this one was called uh, Kerfer preparing for movie night. I think we gotta put this one upstairs. This one's gotta be framed inside the bedroom. Oh my god, Kelvin scared me. Dude. <laughs> oh, they don't look happy. About the mess we've made. And what a mess we have made. Man. Hey, Kerfer. What is that? It's that damn light. The light's back. What the hell? A three-pronged light. I gotta get a photo of this. Oh, I was moving. Ow! Tripped over a stone. I'm gonna die on movie night? No, no, I'll be fine. If I, if I, it starts running at me, I'll just run and hide in the bunker. It's this way, I can hear it. go oh my god it's close it's easy That's what happened to Meatball? Dude. It's a scary thought. It turned me into a Meatball. You watch this? The Fresno Nightcrawlers. You watch that? Gleep Glorp? We watched this one. Who is this dude? Dude, how did you get- how did you get this Wi-Fi? He's- he's doing, like, Chromecast. He's Chromecasting to my damn TV. Reminds me of you and me. Oh, Meatball. Yeah. <laughs> You, we've got a special thing, you and I. Two of the best roommates ever to freaking do it. Did a UFO really crash in the middle of the night? And if it wasn't a UFO, what was it? And is the government covering up the story of the century? Yes! Well, plus a few startling evidence pieces that show the story did not end there. I'm getting a little signal interference. God damn this thing. Gah! Fix! What the fuck? Did you see that? No rules, no boundaries. He doesn't flinch at torture. Human trust what the hell? torture the <laughs> He's not loyal to a flag or a country or any set of ideals. Lorp Sightings Volume 1. Lorping Kitchen. Where? Oh, I didn't see him. Lorping Garage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There, there. Lorp email. Oh my god. Glorp controls Kerfus. I had no idea. Jesus Christ. He's everywhere. Oh my god. Dude, we gotta put some mouse traps. Oh wait, shit. Oh my god, I'd be run yep. That's me right there. I'd be running my ass off. Oh my god, this is I don't wanna see a death on camera. I'm gonna puke. Oh my god! Ha <laughs> ha!
In the cosmic oh. tapestry of life, a new thread emerges. Glorp, an entity of unknown origin, has been spotted in our celestial neighborhood. With an unpredictable nature, it's crucial to keep our eyes to the skies, ever watchful. Imagine, a simple stroll on a starlit yeah, evening or a glance out your window could be the moment you spot Glorp. Shut up, man. I'm trying to listen. Should you encounter this unusual phenomenon, remain calm. Your next step is to alert your local planetary defense representative. Remember, vigilance is our best defense. Together, Ew. we can keep Earth safe from Glorp and any other cosmic oddities that may cross our path. Your curiosity could be the key to our cosmic conundrum. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious. <laughs> Meatball, this is completely unrelated. I'm sure we're fine. I'm just going to go lock the front and back door, okay? I'll be right back. Wait, let's finish hanging the posters. <laughs> Please keep your meatball leashed at all times. Guys, note it. If you're bringing meatballs around here, keep them freaking contained. Ready to continue our show? Hey Kelvin, can I bother you for a bit of popcorn? Does anyone want some coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. This is creepy. I remember this one. This one's called Puppet Dancing at Furry Convention for Money. You guys, I did not submit this one. What is this? What did I wake up to? What is this? <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh shit. Oh shit. Holy shit. This guy, god damn it. Get off this station! <laughs> oh. Don't look. Don't watch this. I'm spinning you around a bit. John F. Kennedy? This is what are they trying to tell us? What do you want? My game crashed. <laughs> they crashed my game. This is their last cruel prank. Oh my god, dude. Kelvin hitting the ass. Scared the hell out of me. Yo, Kelv, can I hit it? Put you aside for a minute. It's good to hold the weed in. You get higher if you hold it in, I heard. My cousin, my cousin Garrett told me that. Let me get these beers back upstairs. Hey, meaty. Got, uh, got us some brews, if you're interested. News? Let's get some more of tonight's news now. One of Britain's most notorious gangsters has been sentenced to seven years behind bars. This is going to be a Glorp reference, I can already tell. Glorp yep. It was also ordered to pay £750,000 compensation. Thank God. For £1 million he laundered or faced Throw the book at him. In jail. Trick shots of the void. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. No way. No way he hits this. Oh my god, he hit it. Shock him on the trash can. Holy shit! He doesn't land it though, right? Oh my god, he landed it! Oh my god. Hey, don't walk in front of the key TV, Kerfer. You almost made us miss the, the craziest part. Unidentified flying objects are spying on our planet. 
Extraterrestrials are observing us on Earth. Amen. Oh, God damn it. It's this guy again. Dude, get off of this channel. People, I can't handle this shit. I'm going to break the TV. 